hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue about our the fabcart e-commerce project where we have displayed the data till now and now we are going to edit and add the role okay so we will be updating the roles like if he's admin or make a normal user or a vendor for him okay so we are going to continue with it so let's start with the coding so let's get back and let's go to our resource views admin inside admin user you have can find index blade so this is our file which we are viewing it over here okay so now what we will do is that um, we will in the href tag edit option we will create a url and tell hmm, role edit okay forward slash and call the id dollar not data item as id that's it so let's call this thing and we'll call this by item id so let's take this role edit and go to your routes and web.php inside that inside your dashboard we are going to paste it okay so this is our admin route so we will just work on with it so let's get route where i'm going to get it and inside that we will view it okay so let's paste that and we are using an id for so we are going to pass an id over here attribute and give comma and call to your controller so let's use the same controller as above admin register controller over there index means we are going to edit option okay so edit over here so now let's go to register controller i'll click on click control and click on it press control and click on it okay so now here we have a function called edit so let's create a function with the name edit public function edit function and pass over here so now where you are passing this dollar id right so you can take that because access through the here oops dollar id okay so this dollar id comes from your url over here okay so let me just test with that first let us refresh the page and let us see it is going there right so if you click on it you will pass a role edit role edit hyphen one you can see over here good so let us get that id over here and return that id so return dollar dollar id hit and reload it once again so you can see dollar id over here cool so guys now we will get back and start with the coding and now once what is this id is nothing but the registered user's id right so we will what we'll do uh, create a variable called uh, role edit user roles okay so let's call user role is equal to user model you are going to call your user model colon where you are going to find it so user model is nothing but your user table inside your laravel here it is inside your app here is the model user php that's it so pass this id over here inside this find and return the data so let's return roll number id one all the data will be returned over here okay let's get back click on id one so all the data with prakash at gmail.com you can see over here return so you can see here id one name with prakash email this verified and few more things okay so as you can see now and let's get back and check with the third one so I hit edit you can see that vendor id also clear so same way we are going to fetch that data in a page okay so let us just return that and type here return view where you are going to view the inside admin folder 
user folder i am going to create edit blade.php file okay so let's go over there so inside your admin folder user folder i am going to create one file called edit.blade.php nice so when you pass this see here now it will be linked users it is okay because that folder name is users you can view over here users and pass the variable with function called user roles comma dollar user roles that's it copy this and pass it to this user edit blood dot php file okay guys so let's include the extension and extend the parts of it so you can just copy all the formal basic things like till card body and all i just don't want this table so let me copy and paste it let's paste it and the index file copy and paste body that's it yeah guys save and let's click on edit we can see a page called registered user nice but it is redirected over here so guys this register user instead of that we will mention uh, let me remove this home page and we'll take registered user edit role that's edit role now you can see a registered user edit role over here we are going to design the form for to change the view so guys as simple we will finish it soon form group if you know bootstrap it's cool form control and you can see name is equal to what are the fields inside our database that fields we have to take out once you hit on users you will find the data so name email id we will just change and we will give the role okay so we can just take out that and yeah guys so let us go back here name copy this paste that's it we'll just give two things to update name and uh, email and role okay so email will not be updated again and again so you can just ignore that so what we will do we will just keep as read only okay so we'll just fetch the value v a l u e value is equal to we are going to fetch that as value is equal to over here let's fetch that by user role copy and pass with that name okay so you can just take it the name correct name name and pass that same with the email set and now you can just copy and tell with the select option select role roles you can tell and we will create an option tio an option is equal to value which will be zero or null you can set as it is null okay mm, we'll keep null only just type in ull null mm, not like this just space
and here will be default admin which will type admin and the vendor vendor and our vendor you can see that vendor we have updated with it already so let's paste this and that's it let's give a class form control save and let's type a button form group and button submit or update you can tell type is equal to submit class btn btn primary that's it method is equal to post and uh, yes guys so let us check this we have fetched or not able to fetch it so let me reload the page and you can see ved ved at gmail.com default it is set and here admin and vendor okay so guys for this now we will just um we'll create one more option like we'll try with this null no it's not available okay just we'll leave it blank and we'll tell this as select role that's it let blank and yeah guys let's move on and this we are going to update we are not going to update this one so we can make this as read only read only so reload the page you can see only reload you cannot edit so you can update with this right so guys now what we'll do um we will just move on with the second id because he is already admin so i just don't want to mess with this so for this we can just show on with it so you can show like uh, right now i'm going to edit vendor so he's a his role is not visible over here I would just want to show that vendor role okay so I'll just mention that in h4 tag is role as from the dashboard okay role underscore as current role okay let's view it set reload so current role is a vendor so you can just roll with the default or the vendor okay so guys now what we'll do um we will go and uh, we'll do for the update once you click it should get updated so for that we will start coding so let's view the action okay so url where i'm going to post this okay role update done with its id id is dollar role user of its id post where we have to pass the crs rf token field and method put okay let's pass on and now we will go copy this url with this id go to web routes and type route put over here and assign the url path and call the id role update and we'll call with the same model i mean controller paste 
so instead of edit we'll give update update now let's copy this update role you can tell anything as per your convenient so let's go to this controller and over there I am going to create this public function upload the function and then we are going to find the same thing dollar user user is equal to user model colon find dollar id okay this id you have to pass at this parameter over here in your function and this function is from your route over here this id and this is coming from your registered edit blade file okay over here okay guys so now we will mm, update and get back over here okay so let's come here and find dollar user where i'm going to call the name is equal to dollar request r e q u e s t of input p u t of n a m b name so this dollar request you need to call over here so you have to call the request function dollar request comma so if you, you have to make sure the request is available over here okay and the last one is role okay so let's copy and paste till role as so role as is nothing come from the database this is the name and this is the role as where we are going to update okay so role as we are going to update and take the file input okay so name is already taken and we are going to take roles copy that roles and paste over here that's it so once you are updating with this and just go and tell dollar user update after update return and redirect back to the same page with the message status tus status role is updated that's it so to check the status you have to update a code for it over here so the code is we have used in previous video somewhere let's see in the dashboard okay it's not available let's go to the home blade okay the default thing where session things is included and shown over here so let's get back don't get confused come and use this session status so session status you are going to check and echo that status okay that's it so let us execute this and see it's updating or not so it's id number three and i will set as a admin now let's update so let's see whether it's getting updated or what role is updated and his role as admin good okay so now let's change this vendor role as now mm, vendor again so now role is admin let's update to vendor so you can update to vendor yeah guys so you see here i can update the name also mm, as person vendor okay let's check with the vendor and update it cool so you can see the person name also as vendor so you can just go back and you can see that registered has in person and vendor it is updated so guys in this video we have learned how to give the role updating editing and updating things in this video for the registered user roles okay so guys in next video we'll be learning about how to delete the uh, person whoever you are going to assign with it okay so thank you for watching this video please let's continue in next video